art challenge four. <laughs> so Alyssa this came up with this. Idea. Yeah, Alyssa came up with this. So we're on the same side like usual. Alyssa's on the left, I'm on the right. And her idea was to combine a sea turtle with a sea anemone because she is an oceanography major. And I guess that would be what I think is where the concept came from. I just like those animals. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Never mind. I, I was watched a commercial with Finding Nemo and I saw the anemone and then I have a sea turtle tattooed on me. So I wanted to do the sea turtle. There you go. All right. Well, so, I mean oceanography, but I won't study animals. So, yeah. Good try. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, just ocean animals. Yeah, I guess, you could say that. So, before we sat down, Alyssa gave us a concept, and so we did look up some inspirational, inspiration photos to draw from. So, we each have our own turtle and sea anemone that we are kind of looking at to draw our the, sketch. Like, get the right depth perception of angles and mm -hmm. how, yeah, because I'm not good at that at all. Erica's amazing at copy images for drawing. What, how do you call that? Um, I don't know. Right now. I don't know. She can look at an image and basically draw it almost exactly. It's kind of like a mathematical thing for me. Oh, okay. so strange. <laughs> it is. The, it's, it's so cool. I just I can't do that. So I just I have to erase this, a couple times. Yeah. I remember in this like one geometry class I took that we had to make a small little cutout of like a newspaper clipping of like a cartoon. Make really, make yeah, it look this really is the, that's big. what I'm thinking of right now. And I can't remember what that's called, but you're basically use tiny little squares, but make a bigger, like use the same, same kind of like grid pattern. Mm -hmm. And each grid has a piece of said thing. My color choices. <laughs> So many. Yeah, you always have so many colors. I mean, I did too. I, I ended up I, with more colors this time. But you've done better this time. You didn't put big globs of paint. Yeah, you've just I put a, you, a lot more colors. <laughs> you just used a lot of colors, but just not as much paint now. Yeah. So I don't know if you can really see it, but in the background, what we've done is drawn our turtle. We both have decided to put an anemone on the back of the turtle as like but it's different. shell. Yeah. yeah, so mine is the whole shell and yours is like the middle of the shell. Yeah, it becomes kind of like the, the center. The peak of it. Yeah. And then I have also drawn all of the spots on its arms and head. I didn't do didn't that do yet. That. Yeah. I was gonna allow myself to figure that out when I painted it. Right now, so I'm trying to put sea and enemy, like what are they? Tentacles? Tentacles, legs. What a, what a, what do you ever call those? Anyways, I'm putting those on its fins. What are they fins? Arms. Um, wow, fins. all these words—they're probably all wrong. Legs. We didn't know that. We do. That's the sad part. <laughs> but. That's okay. We did a whole project. We did a whole project on a scene anime too. Yeah. I just don't remember what they're called. I think they're tentacles. I'm sure they're tentacles. Yeah. Uh, whatever they are. So you you I, go you go ahead first into this. I actually so I'm drawing so many like different directions, mm -hmm. trying to make it show that it's like flowing in the ocean. And I start with the base blue and I will try to shadow. With like uh, that was one of the things I told you in the very start of this. I go your shadows and all that's gonna matter to make this look more realistic. realistic because that's kind of what we were going for was a more of a realistic kind of look. So she gave me some hints. So Even right now I'm trying to deepen the bottoms and like do it on the right side so they look all kind of the right way so they don't look weird yeah so I'm attempting to do all of that and actually I don't think it turned out too bad when I did it I just I ended up adding at the end you'll see I added a lot more colors than I probably needed to you had no stop <laughs> yeah 
but we'll get into that when we get there. And like Erica has this really cool like one that wraps around. So when I looked up uh, a sea anemone, I knew there was one that had longer like tentacles mm -hmm. and that's, pointier. I really like those ones, and so that is what I want. I looked up for my I, like, I inspiration. I wanted a traditional. I did paint it blue to make it look like it is more a part of the ocean because mm -hmm. they get those like reflections and they like kind of turn a blue color mm -hmm. and especially if like they have like a light based on them like when they're in an aquarium and stuff they mm -hmm. have a color like that but that is the one thing I will say is I basically did not go with realistic coloring. I mean the purples, yeah, but like not for the turtle. The purples where it came from the sea anemone, and I really just love that color green, so I went with it. But other yeah, than that, I did more of a realistic look, but like different colors. And you've added I, some yellow, it. now you're adding some pink in there. So I put yellow, and then I was gonna try to face like a pink to the purple. So like the base was yellow. And then as it got like farther up the tentacles, it kind of faded into like a blue. Yeah. That's what I'm attempting to do here. And then I didn't, I basically started to draw the inside of my tentacles and now I'm extending them to the point. Can I just add, you have a very thin paintbrush like I do, mm -hmm. but yours is a lot thinner, I think, than mine was. N no. No? I mean, this is a very specific detail brush, but they were... They're pretty small. They're pretty small. When I'm using it, I I think I'm pressing so hard that I'm creating thick lines. Massive lines. <laughs> very thick lines. So this part... It's about the pressure you put yeah, into it. Yeah, this part I'm like okay with, but I do get frustrated <laughs> because I'm like looking at you paint little thin lines <laughs> and I'm like, my brush isn't working. And I didn't even think about like, oh, just let up on the brush a little. User air. User, User air. air. <laughs> yeah, I'm just extending on that. But bit. right now it doesn't matter because I'm just painting in between. I'm actually painting like the whole shell. So mm -hmm. this is like, it goes out. Yeah. So from the shell. We also did com like different. Like the yellow is like the mouth. I did more of like the a. Mouth, the, the bed. Yeah. Inside um, the tentacles. There's like a spot inside the tentacles. That's flat. There's no yeah. tentacles. Like we're finding Nemo lives. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I know. That's the saying. part. Um, I was gonna say, but <laughs> we're finding Nemo. <laughs> I just watched that movie. Sorry. You said that already. I know, but I was cute and I haven't seen it for a long time. <laughs> um, I was gonna say that we also did this at different angles. So like you're looking down on your turtle versus I'm like looking more of like a yeah. downside view. Mm -hmm. So it. Yours is definitely focused more on the top of the shell. Yeah. Which makes sense of how you drew it. You yeah. painted it. Because mm -hmm. I think that was also kind of like your little quarrel with it. You were like, why does that look so different? But it's because uh, yeah. you just, you went with a different manner. So right now, I like, I'm painting all of the spots for the turtle. Mm -hmm. And... It's very tedious work, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't think about this thoroughly because I should have painted his color first. But it was very, this is where I'm like, why is this like, it's so hard to paint these lines. Lines, yeah. squares, circles, whatever shape I drew. I'm still working on my tentacles. It took you me a while. a while on them. Yeah. I was running out of paint See, the this whole is time. I think I should have left the tentacles alone at this point. I mm -hmm. end up adding to them. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm like digging out my paint. I think of how many times did I tell you I was running out of paint? A lot. To a point where it was and annoying she's me. Like, she asked no, me, she goes, so do you times. have this paint color? No. I like, and it's funny I asked you if you had that pink color. I made that pink color. You asked me though. I know. <laughs> you can finally see my turtle coming out. Mm -hmm. It's coming to life.
and then I'm making like a highlight color. I painting his eye. I got paint on the table. Oh, the table is just ruined. Look at it. I, I just can't stay on that. Actually, you know what? I stayed in my I lines get paint, pretty well this time. I get paint on my hands and you get paint everywhere else. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. <laughs> Except this game. I actually stayed in my lines pretty well this time. Oh, no, here it comes. I'm going to go on your side watch. Yep. Oh, that's like a conversation so, every time. Alyssa has a hard time staying, even though that she gets like a bigger quadrant every time. Oh, the battery must have died. Yeah, I think the battery died. Uh, no, so I can't stay in my side because I always go so fast. I'm like, don't pay attention. But I'm painting the ocean. I'll... I yeah, you have a big, clear. bigger quadrant every time, and you always compete on more space. You have a bigger quadrant. These ones are actually pretty even. even. This is actually this pretty is, even. I think you drew this line this time. That's why. High five me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can draw. So now, even. So, because the inspirational photo I have, so my anemone started out with like a dark purple color and went to like a lighter color. Mm -hmm. And so the tentacles on the arms of the turtle had the dark color going into the object. Mm -hmm. the light color. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm extending those. Just painting the ocean. I did like your background. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the color blue. Then I go, oh look at all these dashes I add to every single one that took me forever. That's what took me so long. Oh, that'll take me so long. <laughs> so right now I'm painting the in-between color of the turtle, the base color. And at one point on one spot, oh no, no, what did I do? I'm moving on. I finished. Oh, I'm painting the tips of the anemone tentacles to make them more stand out on this part. Which actually worked not that bad on that mm. part. Oh, here I go. I'm starting to work with my turtle body now. I'm painting the base coat. Barely Man, see it's so like... It's almost like you should have painted that first. Oh, I thought of that after, too. I was like, wow, I really <laughs> like getting do into the fine crevices. Luckily, I do have a smaller paintbrush. But at that point, I was like, oh, I should have probably done this. Order of events. Yeah. But you're still working on so your... So I turned my paintbrush over, and I'm adding putting little dots, dots now everywhere it turned out cool mm -hmm. i i liked it it just I don't oh know. this is where you add all the yellow to the end yeah of the i should have stopped at the pink dots <laughs> <laughs> i wasn't a huge fan of the yellow it just didn't match it kind of made it less dimensional it looked more glowy than i wanted it to be that's because on some of them i drew such a thick line mm -hmm. and it just didn't not what I intentionally wanted, but I'm making. I color. stick with it and I leave it because it doesn't look horrible. I'm not mad. What are you mixing? I think I'm trying to mix like a purple color for my like turtles like spots. Mm. And then I don't think that I go with a dark color. I'm Look at all the colors you had to choose from. <laughs> this is also why you, uh, you know I almost used every single color. I know. I, I think I would, I told you this time around to like okay next time we do a project, pick a simple, simpler like palette. Palette. Yeah. yeah. Because you always want to use every color you put it's on your so palette. So fun. You went from using so much paint and colors to less paint but still the same amount of colors. So now we've got to work on getting you to. A just, <laughs> just start with like three colors and then work your way up. Just paint with one color at a time. That's what I need to do. Well, it's not like you're not doing that now. You just, yeah, you shouldn't put it on your palette That's what until I mean. then. Yeah, okay. So I'm painting my pretty color that I've decided to use. <laughs> I like that color. It's like a mint and green for the actual turtle. This is where you kind of run into a little bit of you needed to stop. <laughs> 
because I should have left. You it. start blurring out the hard work you put in. Yeah. Well, because I painted it one time, it worked. Look at it. Made just it looked like you see? painted over okay, everything. It was like water watercolor almost, and it like blended a little bit. And then when I went into the other bigger areas with more dots, it just did not turn out the same way. So right now I'm adding more dark color to kind of like fix it. But yeah. See, I did go with like a darker color. Oh, there color. I go, adding more blue. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm filling in my turtle's spots now on the head and making sure the shape looks right. For me. Oh, you're well, signing, I'm signing, signing. You're I'm done. done. <laughs> <laughs> I need to stop. See, so, oh, I'm adding more yellow. You just couldn't stop. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. This was like the most exciting, most like. I mean, it's creative every time, but like this one was more realistic, and I had to slow down my thoughts. Yeah, because when you like, actually do when it, you feel like you have the ability to be abstract, you really just kind of throw paint on the paper. So much fun! It's so much fun, but I do I did but realize this time you, you need to take a lot more. You can see our artistic differences. Like you are so detail oriented, and mm -hmm. I, I mean, I am on some things. You are. But not as I'm, detailed. I'm willing to take the time to make it. Not perfect, but decent enough in my eyes that I feel like, okay, I like it. But you can not see, that you aren't either. You but just you can see my progression from the first from the first video that we video we recorded. You have definitely got way more patient with yourself on painting, and I think you enjoy it more now. Too. Yeah, the first video I was whining about how I don't how long paint. it took and it takes a long time and I don't understand how you can sit here and do this and buy this one I think partly because I came up with the idea mm -hmm. I was like okay let's put some time into it and see what happens and I actually yeah. enjoyed it a lot more but I still don't have the artistic ability that you, you do. You do. You just got to work so. a little bit more at it. Yes. Practice. Um, and now I am adding the last little touches of my scene enemy because it also had in the center, my inspiration had like a lighter tentacle coming from the center. So I'm adding all of that in and then finishing the detail off as well for the rest of the painting, because I think I'm almost done now. Okay, come to the close. I don't really add as much of a detailed background as you do on it. Not the ears are not so cool. Thanks. Oh, I do like yours. I just like how that, like, yours is so... I mean, I have a thousand colors in my <laughs> You committed to colors. Yeah, it's like you. But I do but like yours. You it's just different angle. Yeah. I just, well, it's also different. Like I feel like yours is more crisp and what's the word? Specific and like mm -hmm. it just looks more complete. I feel like. Just, look, you add these like cool abstracty <laughs> like things. I don't think it, I just like yours. I like yours too. I'm getting better. We'll see how much I can There's do. nothing wrong with what you did. I didn't say there's anything wrong. I just like yours more. Okay. Well, <laughs> I like yours. Thanks. Well, we hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, it's a good look to see how far I'm getting at this and mm -hmm. how... It's so cool to see how different we are and how Even we approach it. Even with the same it. exact idea. Yeah. So it's fun. Alright. Thank you so see much. You next time. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>